And it sounds weird to say it, but I guess I'm a multimillionaire now. From a medical school rejection to owning a $1.5 million per year business, many people think that success is an overnight thing. And nine out of 10 people quit when they realize it isn't. That is not the story of Charlie Chang. On your ceiling. Attending medical school is a dream for many people, but it was a given for Charlie Chang. His parents expected him to become a doctor, so that was his only goal. He studied pre-med for four years, but when he finally had to apply to med school, he was in for a big shock. Charlie had applied to more than 15 medical schools, but he didn't get into a single one of them. He got rejection letter after rejection letter after rejection letter. However, he probably wouldn't have made it very far in the medical world, since he hated blood and needles. It's pretty hard to become a doctor without ever seeing needles or blood. Charlie began rethinking his whole life plan. If he couldn't get into medical school, he had to make money some other way. For some time, Charlie made money in all sorts of ways. One of the ways that he made money was through drop shipping. Like many other young entrepreneurs, drop shipping was an early stage of his career. Charlie also worked other jobs, such as modeling and being a real estate agent for some time. However, none of these jobs made him a lot of money, and he didn't really have a steady income for a long time. That's when Charlie found a new way to make a steady income. He started doing YouTube videos. Many people think that YouTube is just a hobby, but Charlie made YouTube his full-time job. He had been posting on YouTube since 2006. However, Charlie was missing one crucial thing for his YouTube channel to succeed. He he started looking into ways to make his YouTube channel grow. He was looking for that one missing ingredient. It was clear that Charlie was missing a strategy for his YouTube channel. His content up until then had been very inconsistent and random. So he found a specific topic he knew a lot about. Charlie had been doing side hustles for a long time and knew a lot about different business ideas. So he started posting financial advice on his channel and he quickly saw huge growth in his channel. Charlie didn't limit himself to YouTube. He also posted his advice on Instagram and moved on to TikTok later. In the beginning, Charlie didn't have a lot of success and didn't get a lot of views. He told NBC, my first few videos received around a dozen views each, half of which were from my mom. But that didn't stop Charlie. He kept on grinding. And since his past side hustles had made him a good amount of money, he had plenty of time and resources to explore YouTube and get the hang of it. Eventually, the pandemic hit, and a lot of people became interested in making money online. That's when Charlie's channel really blew up, and he started seeing growth. Since he knew so much about side hustles and different business models, he was able to teach people different ways to make money online, and it brought him a lot of new viewers and subscribers. Companies started noticing Charlie's platforms, and they reached out to him with offers for sponsored videos. In June 2020, he made his first sponsored video on TikTok, but that wasn't enough for Charlie. He wanted to build more income streams. He created created an online course to teach people about how to become successful on YouTube. Not only that, but he also started doing affiliate marketing around this time, which also added a lot to his income. In 2021, Charlie made an average of 150,000 per month. Now, Charlie is living the sweet life on his many income streams. He buys supercars and spends his vacations in luxury. One of the keys to Charlie's success is his willingness to jump straight into things without hesitation. He did this with all of his entrepreneurial projects. This gave him a head start in life since a lot of people quit before they even start. He also says that he likes to learn along the way. Many people are afraid to fail, but not Charlie. He learns from his mistakes and becomes an even better entrepreneur every time he has a project go wrong. He says that because he has failed so many times, he no longer fears failing. So if there is one thing we can take from Charlie's story, it is that we should never be afraid to fail. This might sound like a cliche, but if Charlie had stopped when he failed, he never would have become as successful as he is to this date. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. We're trying to hit 100,000 likes on this video in the next four seconds. Peace, and see you in the next one.